by sheer coincidence, I happened to be fiddling about with some landing craft and uh, D-Day's coming up, I suddenly realised. You know how things catch up on you. Like Christmas, birthdays, wedding anniversaries and of course D-Day. Not only that, we're onto a cyclic anniversary for the First World War as well, aren't we? 24 to 14, or 14 to 24, but uh, think about that another day. But here are two landing craft, they've made brief appearances in the I've found another box type films, but um, I was just looking at them thinking, yeah, I might just put them in a box of their own on a shelf, all marked up, in case other bits of them reappear, and see if they can be refurbished somehow. This is the old Airfix vinyl, soft plastic one, and unfortunately it's warped. It was always a bit warped, but the warp has got worse. I think that's visible. Um, and I don't know that there's a lot can be done for that without like major surgery. And it being so old and so antique I think it might be better leaving it as an artefact than... Uh, ah, the cat yet again. Loves the sound of my voice. Than dabbling it with it and losing its character. And that is one I made in the 70s, I think. I don't remember making one since particularly. I reckon I made a couple, but... Um, I could be wrong, forgive me. But it has lost its, um, you know, off ramp. Uh, still got one of its men. The kneeling man has gone. But I don't know if you can see his foot remains. Also, we've completely lost the rails, gone off the rails, apart from one. And that would be hard to get back into service. Uh, but there they are, D-Day landing craft. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a sort of ongoing project, and it's going to, I hope, eventually, you know, we'll have something to show. Uh, so yeah, D-Day's on the way. When I think of D-Day, obviously, I think of landing craft and bunkers and that kind of thing. Um, oh, I've just realised, hang on, before I go into all that, there is another landing craft on the horizon. I don't think I can reach it without turning the camera off. So, there's this. Um, this came out of a box of tricks. And I thought, really? Did I buy one of those? And then I opened it up, and it's typically me, which we'll look at in a minute. Uh, but here we are, Pegasus Hobbies. Um a new company to the channel at least LCVP landing craft with crew and soldiers uh, which is good it's nice that somebody's put figures in but they're not great so we'll have a look at what's in here uh, it's half done it looks like it clips together as well but it's partially done and uh, I don't even know if it is partially done it just shamble it shambolic bits let's get them out right the instructions uh, show us that it is a very simple model so there aren't that many parts so basically I haven't started it which is great because I can start it then can't I <laughs> you can get some C very peculiar little base but novel so I'll hang on to that the figures are lacklustre shall we say They're very regimented um, <clears throat> which is what they're supposed to be, but I don't think they really were. There's the crew. The one on the left is quite good. The other two really are a bit feeble. Um, they come in strips of three. And I've already cut three up. Probably just to give a bit of flexibility. And then I've deposited a load of other makes and styles of American troops including paras, 
never mind. And some old, old Marines. I love that set. I actually like them more than the later set, despite the fact that the later set was a masterpiece. And um, ground crew from from uh, you know the airfield folk and a rubber dinghy. So I think I've just been dumping anybody who's been stray. Uh, but you could shake this lot up by mixing some of these in, which might not be a bad idea. And I reckon a nice little character like that pointing, probably officer, and probably the guy with the radio-ish, could be squeezed in, and you wouldn't really notice they weren't right. Because these guys would be packed in. So I am going to have a go at this. And I am going to try and shake up the interior. Uh, so we'll see. The other thing is, in there, because I've been depositing things, we have parts from the later Airfix landing craft, which means I've got one of those somewhere, which I vaguely remember, but I have no idea where. Um... Uh, I don't know if I can cannibalise it to make the older one better, but we'll see. Or is that the newer one? Can't be, because I've got me kneeling man, the one who lost a foot. So, detective work involved here, but we'll do this one eventually. Um, but as I was saying, uh, for me, when you say D-Day, like word association, it's landing craft, men on beaches, struggling and bunkers. Uh, because we have this, and I might just be able to pull all the bits together. There's a couple, I know where a few more are. We might actually get something out of this. Uh, so, that will be a separate episode. And I've got a feeling this will be faster moving than the landing craft. But, um, anyway, let's have a go. Oh, which means thank you for watching. See you again soon. Who knows which of these will get to the 4th of June. Because um, it's coming up, isn't it? Right, see you soon. Very soon. A kind of one layer up from undercoat. Um, I'm making the areas of where. Um, where people are leaning and walking. Um... A slightly sandy colour because they, from what I remember of bits of Normandy beaches, the uh, cliff tops were quite sandy. Uh, there's chalk in some places, but the bits I was on up near um, where the Mulberry Harbour was, and oh, I forget the other bit. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, Mulberry Harbour and sort of north towards the British sector uh, very sandy cliffs so that's what I'm trying to get in the wear and tear there we go I'm blathered on a bit too much there anyway so having mentioned my first old wall trench system I was looking for it and obviously I found it but I also found another one from my childhood and a mutilated one. Have we gone through this before? I don't think so. Because it was mutilated so that I could create that out of Daz. Uh, and it's been through a couple more mutilations. But, I mean, this doesn't give a clear idea. That had another bit on it and it was one of those blast walls. But, um, there we are. Surprise. So, D-Day, here we come. I have also got at least one if not two of those ones that are more like um, uh, you know like the ones in um, Norwegian Fjord Mountains what was that? Is that in the uh, something or other squadron I can't believe I can't remember it the classic one with the theme tune they try to bomb a gun emplacement in the side of a mountain don't they 633 squadron anyway Bunkers, you see? Anyway, we'll, um, uh, we'll move on. I'm getting overexcited. Yeah, what have I done to this? I've cut that down.
What was the plan there? Yeah, I was going to have guns in there. I wonder if I could get that going again. That's for another day. Anyway, moving on. Hang on, hang on. Did we see this clearly? It's the other end, isn't it? This is the this is the end with the little um, the two kind of bunker buildings. This is the polygonal one. Do you know, for a kid of about eleven, that's all right. Could be worse. There's a chance of getting that looking better, isn't there?